Hello everyone, welcome to the CDV News on Karabash TV and on the Wave Radio Night 4.5. I am Lisa Joseph. Well, arguably one of St. Lucia's most controversial political figures has made a comeback. Twice fired from the cabinet of ministers in separate UWP administrations headed by the late Sir John Compton, accused of contributing to the demise of the founder of the UWP and father of the nation, Rufus Busque, at name only, ignites heated debate. But he says he still has much that he can do to assist in the development of the country and as such has re-entered the political arena. The Chozel Saltibus constituency branch of the United Workers' Party held its elections on the weekend. The process was attended by 30 out of the 54 financial members of that branch. In the lead-up to the election, a group under the banner, supporters of the UWP in Chozel Saltibus, issued a scathing statement that painted Rufus Busque in less than glowing light. The group withdrew support for the former parliamentary representative and called on him to rescind his bid for the chairmanship of the constituency branch. Instead, Busque was unanimously elected by the 30 members in attendance. Jimmy Haynes is a member of that concerned group. Him being elected as chairperson is by no means an indication of his popularity, one. Uh, two, of his ability or the potential to win the Swazel seat back from the Lucia Labour Party, or three, um, the opinions of persons um, who believe that now we need a new vision, we need some young blood, and um, we cannot tolerate the instability that Rufus Brusque normally brings to the UWP when he's a part of it. That being said, uh, the others seem to believe that um, he may very well be what they need to push the agenda for Shwazel, how do you reconcile that? Well, um, I mean, every, everyone's entitled to opinions. And um, uh, having uh, Rufus Busque does have support on the ground. The man has been around for more than 25 years. He's ran five consecutive elections. What we have to remember is if we want him to push the agenda, um, is he a candidate who can win again? Um, he has lost three times. He's won twice. Some people will tell you that you know, Lorne has... Lon's tenure so far has been so abysmal and poor that uh, it has shown a, a, such a contrast between him and, and Rufus Busquet that it's inevitable that Rufus would win. I question that logic because every election cycle, Busquet sheds uh, an entire layer of supporters, and he has done so because of his behavior after the elections. He totally abandons the people. He neglects them. He goes away. And as soon as election times comes near, he reappears. He reappears, he reemerges. And we have, including myself, always tolerated that and supported him in doing so. And it's just a case where people have had enough. They're fed up. And as much as we like Rufus as an individual, he's a nice guy, he's affable, he's charismatic. I mean, he's, <laughs> that doesn't mean that we have to submit ourselves to uh, a candidate or the representation that he gives us. Now, noticeably absent on a Sunday at that election of this constituency branch were Brian Charles, Ignatius Jean, Anison Hunt, uh, Cheryl Ernest, uh, who were nominated for the post of Chairman, Treasurer, Welfare Officer and Assistant Secretary Treasurer, respectively. Ahead of the vote in Busque had been accused of influencing the process, causing division. Jimmy Haynes says this is representative of the true Rufus Busque. You heard nothing about Suazel. UWP politics until now, until Rufus Busque returned. And as soon as he returned, up goes the uproar. Now, this time it's persons like myself. Five years ago, it was another set of guys. I was, I was on his side. And whether, why should there be sides of one organization? There should be one side. And Rufus introduces division, and we don't need that. And so to your mind, who would be this unifying uh, candidate for the constituency? Well, first, I think it's an opinion shared by many people in Swazel, including supporters of the Labour Party, that this time in Swazel we need to have a candidate who is from Swazel and lives in Swazel, um, who has, you know, a, a history, there's a family, uh, the person has been involved in certain activities, went to school in Swazel. I'm not one of those persons. I have just recently came to Swazel. Um, but we believe that Rufus Busque is standing in the doorway, and he's not allowing anyone to come through. So in a case where, for example, 
there is an, an, an opening, a vacancy for a, a candidate, you would, you would expect that many people, numerous people could apply. But Rufus has applied. He's also, he also now sits as the chairperson so that he can influence the process of selecting a candidate. And that's why we asked him to withdraw his, his uh, offer to be the candidate. You can't be both. You can't be the chairperson who has some influence, who sits on the National Council that this has the ultimate decision, makes the ultimate decision in de deciding who the candidate is going to be. And um, you can see that he has come with an intent to manipulate the process, and that in no way is positive for Swazel, UWP, or St. Lucia. And on the question of whether the former foreign affairs minister can seek leadership at the national executive level and be successful, Haynes believes that Rufus Buske doesn't stand a chance and would be humiliated in the same manner that he was back in 2013 when he vied for the post of chairman of the UWP.